Okay, so this is a walkthrough of a dissection of a challenge Griffo Cita Extra tubular tire. So we're just going to work from the outside in. So here we have the, uh, the tread. You can see this tire had a massive amount of life left. I might um, actually try to retread a different tire with, um, with this tread. On the underside, we have uh, material down here, which um, looks like it might be some kind of poly material. I'm not sure if that's to give the adhesive something to bite to. There seems to be plenty of bite on this surface. You can see it's kind of rough. Um, or if it's maybe to give a little bit of puncture resistance. Um, I think most of the puncture resistance, though, is <laughs> going to come from how thick this tube is. You can see it's um, probably maybe 0.7-ish millimeters. I don't have a caliper, so I can't really tell. Um, there's your stem, it's a latex tube. These are incredibly difficult to cut. Um, these are very, very durable tubes. I put them in all my clinchers because they're so hard to cut, um, almost impossible to pinch flat. Um, we have the 11th of April, 2001. So this is actually a very old tire that I bought used a number of years ago. Old to me. So the next um, the next bit will be where the where the tread adhered to the casing. Um, you see we have a little bit of adhesive. I think it's um, probably a, the same kind of latex that uh, the base tape is glued down with. And then we have another kind of adhesive. I have my own um, neoprene aquashore on here that I use to tack down some of the uh, some of the uh, silk toe. Um, this is, I think, what Dugast is using now. And then the factory latex emulsion that they that they use. I'm I'm not sure what product. Um, if anyone knows, please uh, reach out to me. I'm not sure what product they use to seal these. I've seen Dugast. It's some white gloopy stuff. I don't know what it is. So, next we have um, this very very light poly material um, that keeps the seam from chafing the tube and then it's um sewn with what yeah what feels like just poly thread um it's not anything super special i think i actually have a big roll of this elsewhere um this is a you might have you might remember this was a cita extra so this is a silk casing you can see how itty bitty those threads are now, here's something kind of interesting. The, um, you can see the toe laid that way, and then the opposite way. It looks like the same way, because I flipped it over, I know, but they're laid perpendicular to each other. So it forms that X, and that's going to give you the actual casing of the tire. But it's very, very thin, and it's, I mean, I, you'll have to trust me, but it's very, very supple. The tire is fold it over at the seam, so it's straight stitched before it gets closed, fold it over, glued down with probably this the exact same latex glue. I'll show you what I've been using to repair these. And then this guy is sewn into the straight stitch that's on there. And then fold it over like so and stitched up like that, sort of a whip stitch. Um, there's a machine that does this. I don't know what it is. And I, that will pretty much conclude my walkthrough of a Challenge Cita Extra tubular tire. Um, yeah, this guy failed. I'm not really sure why, but it had a ton of sealant inside, so I'm wondering if that was part of it. If dry rot had something to do. I Like I said, I was the second owner of this guy. Um, tubular tires are actually cheaper than clinchers if you buy them lightly used. They do have a tendency to break your heart sometimes, and you have to learn how to repair them, but they're pretty cool. So yeah, um, let me know what you think. Shout out to Raul Lucher um, for kind of giving me a little inspiration um, on doing this teardown. Uh, thanks. Bye.